Okay, so before we dive into this video, I do need to thank the sponsor of the video and that today, I'm so excited, is Casetify. If you don't know, Casetify is a brand that creates phone cases that prioritizes both the look of your phone and the style you want, but also protecting your phone. Their Qi Tech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. Literally, like I, I'm not kidding. They feature a lifted camera ring and a raised front basil for all angle protection too. Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. They're also compatible with 5G and wireless charging, which is super awesome. They come in tons of designs so you can pick your favorite color or print and match your phone to your style, fit your mood, or even the season of the year like I did with some of my more spooky fall themed ones. You can also add your name or a monogram for a truly customized case. Case device cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature a antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free and killing 99% of bacteria. So you can go to casefy.com slash Olivia Reads to save 15% off of your order. It's on the screen. I'll put it in the description down below. You can grab your own cases, some of the ones like mine, you can get your own, design your own. There's so many freaking options on there. It is mind boggling and I highly recommend. I've been absolutely loving my new phone cases from them. So thank you once again to Casefy for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the organization of my life and more importantly, my bookshelf. Okay. Hi. Hey. Hello. So, um, Olivia, why are you showing your arms? I know, it's weird. Uh, it's hot. You wanna know how hot it is in Texas? We've gotten to that point of the year that it is uh, too damn hot for clothes, okay? We're already there and it is. <laughs> okay, so hi, hey, hello, how are you doing? So, uh, this video is dedicated to Lexi from uh, the Alexandra Rosalind here on Booktube. Uh, you probably heard of her. I'm giving off very Katie vibes today. I'm kind of into it. Okay, I don't know what that was. It all went away right there. So uh, this is for her because she organized a TBR bookshelf and I was like, Zooey, ah, ow. That seems nice. I'd love to have a TBR bookshelf because then it kind of feels like you're shopping your shelves, which is something that I've tried to do this year, but in my actual room for the books, uh, it's all mishmashed just like this and they're all in the same place. So it's not as, easy to like i obviously know which books i've read and which i haven't but i would rather that they're like all in one place so it feels like you're going to a bookstore and you're shopping your shelves you see you're following me come on down the path come on so what we're gonna do is make these my tbr bookshelf because i we saw this in world market and i was like oh that's cute but i would never do anything like not super easy to style and like just very basic kind of like, ba but I love basic. Give me Ugg boots, give me a Pandora brace, like give me Starbucks. Well, not anymore because I'm better than Starbucks, but Nespresso, the most basic of espresso machines. So like when I say basic, know that um, I say it with this cup in hand. So it's full of love and self-awareness, but <laughs> that is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the fact that I, my partner convinced me to buy this because they really liked it. And I was like, you know what, that's true. I just have no idea what we'll do with it. And you know, normally in stores, they will style it for you, like on the display and you can just like steal it. Or do you not do that? Cause I do that. Because this pottery barn chair that we bought, they had like a pillow and a blanket on there. And I was like, yeah, just no, mm, don't even take them off. Just take the tag off, scan it and pop that all into the truck because I'm gonna take all of it because I don't trust myself to style it. Okay. Um, but I, have been so influenced by Instagram, for like modern, chic farmhouse. And okay, I know how that sounds. Okay, so anyways, I we got this and it's very like boho. I don't even know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I like this shelf and I don't know how to style it. So I have a bunch of crap. <laughs> that I just bought either off of Amazon. I'll link everything that I can 
possibly link. I think all of it is from Amazon or like we have one thing from anthropology, like one thing that was like, treat yourself thing. Um, that wasn't even for me. It was again for my partner and I've hijacked that as well as a shelf. But I realized that I, I was like, oh, I don't want to have books outside of my library. But then I was like, we're both readers. Like we're both really intense readers. And I kind of like there to be something like, I don't know. I just like the idea of there being books sprinkled throughout your house, whether they're as decorative pieces, because as much as people got on, who is it? Ashley Tisdale for buying all those books. So you're mad for supporting books and authors? Can't compute. Anyways, let's not get into book talk drama because I've, I've steered clear thus far. But I was just like, you know what? Never mind. We're not gonna just put them all in our offices and just hoard them to that room, mainly because that's not gonna happen because we have too many freaking books. But also, I think that it is our personality. We only have one personality trait in its books. Just kidding. But it really is like, it's part of us and so is mess <laughs> and having too many books and not knowing where to put them. So I have a couple of the Bronte sisters books that are like special editions that I thought were really pretty on the entry table. And I think those look really good. And it's just like a little thing, you know, like a little addition. So here are going to be all of the TBR books that we have. And we, I mean me, because some people, apparently I am living with one of those people, are capable of just picking up one book and reading it and not buying another one until they've read it. And I wish I had known I had moved in with someone who is just not right. Um, but actually, I kind of wish I was like that. But then we wouldn't be making this video. So honestly, we're where we need to be. Is that what they say? Uh, I don't know. God puts you where you're supposed to be. I don't know. Plant a seed and it grows. I, I don't know what Pinterest quote fits here, but what we're going to ginger, oh my God, she's a gremlin. But what we're going to do is we're going to organize these shelves. And I will say it's probably gonna be a little quickie video because I did do a layout just to see if I would like it. And spoiler alert, I did. So I did take a picture of it so I could just put everything right back. But I was like, yeah. I like watching videos like this. I actually like watching videos where they don't question where to put things as much. I do like a little bit of that where you're like, oh, where are they gonna style that? That's gonna look weird no matter what. Ah, nice. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna get that reaction out of any of you. You're probably gonna be like, what is happening right now? And that's fine because if you haven't said that at least twice on my channel while you're here, I haven't done my job. Uh, but let me show you the books and the things that we're working with. Okay, let's get that first. So let's go there. First off, this is the moment. This is the girl, this is her. Uh, this is from World Market. It is just a circle, rattan bookshelf. Boom, there it is. This is, this is the chair I was talking about that I surely didn't style. And my idea of styling things is just putting more plants. So <laughs> that's why we're doing this. So here is this. So this is the head that I was talking about. Uh, this is a real plant. Many of you have told me that these are, I hate this phrasing, but I love you guys. So I will just follow your lead. But this is a spider plant and these are her children. So what I'm gonna do is pluck off probably this big old chunker because I feel like it's got more, more, you know, availability. But uh, apparently I can just pluck this off, put it in water and it will grow into something. Uh, probably a plant if I had to guess. But yeah, there's there's this plant in here. So this thing has also started growing since um, the last time we talked. Uh, then I ordered these fleur de lis. Don't think I said that remotely correctly. Um, bookends, these are heavy, so that's nice. I didn't think they were gonna be that heavy when I picked the box up, it was quite embarrassing. Then I have this wood thing that I got from Target and uh, we were using it on the entry table in the old house, but now we have another one that I like better over there. So I was like, what am I gonna do with this? Put it on a freaking shelf. Then I have this little cage thing and I have my favorite candle in it. I need a new one that's not burned down to a crisp. Then I have this little guy. This is from Target as well. So are all of these decorative um, <clears throat> balls. And then I also have, this thing because um did i tell you i was influenced by instagram because hey uh i was and then this actually is from tj maxx but i like plants and i like not having to worry about them so i buy fake ones 
Uh, these books are all books that I want to read relatively soon and or am doing a video on. And then this one, also from TJ of the Max Variety. These are books, well, this is a book I want to read soon. This is a book that I cherish more than, honestly, my own life force. This is a book I want to read soon. This is a real life plant that I do fear for, uh, as well as its sister. Uh, this is a gothic looking candle holder that I got from Bath and Body Works one year, and I'm just forcing it to fit the vibe at this point. So that's going to stay. This is something that looks like it should be on my shelf, so I purchased it from Amazon. And then these are some more books. These are the latest book of the month books that I am interested in. And then these are books that I've received recently that I would like to read. And then these are all of the thrillers that I want to read slash my TBR for the spring fling a ween readathon coming up soon, but this is probably going to go up late. So how embarrassing that I just dated when I filmed this video. <laughs> and here's this. I do want to do a vlog for this book series. So having it out in the open will force me to look at my failure if I do not comply. Then I have a couple more books that I'd like to read soon. And that's that. So, oh, hello. We are going to fit all of that onto this beautiful shelf. So let's, uh, as a wise band once said, let's get it started in hop. Let's get it started in here. Okay, so I have done the top shelf and I know that it's kind of bare and kind of plain or whatever, but I like it. I kind of like that it's just a simple top part, like top shelf, because then the rest of it can be full of books and colorful and like, you know, decorates head. So uh, there's that. Now let's get into the rest of the shelves. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Okay, is it bad if I display two books on this shelf? Because I just feel like this copy of Gallant deserves it, you know? Like just, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll put the lesser version of it next to it. She's not as pretty, but I try not to compare sisters. All right, second shelf, done. Here's my big old forehead. <laughs> okay, so let me move y'all down a little bit so that you can see. I just completely move you down for those. But uh, like the goal of this is to decapitate myself, to show all of my books that I have like reading vlog ideas for or I'm in the middle of. So I think that this will help me, hi Jake, to actually see what I'm trying to read, if that makes any sense. Honestly, don't. I should be the last. Also, it's like, I already have this beautiful shelf. Why not use it for beautiful books, you know? Then, oh, 
all of the Percy Jackson books too, ma'am. I guess I'll use you like a little. Ah! Don't do that. You scared me. Rude. Okay, I don't want to put too many books like over the books that are here. So maybe we can put in something decorative like right here, like this. Maybe. I don't know if that'll look cute though. I mean, I've definitely made worse decisions. Just put this here. Yeah, you know, uh, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's, it is what it is. Is what I, how do you think? All right. And then, well, I don't really need this one on the shelf, but the Jasmine throne for the love of God, I need to freaking read, so. Let's just do a bit of scooping down. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Lord. There you go. I think that's, okay. Okay, I, I don't know if the Jasmine throne is gonna stay facing out because I love the cover and I don't wanna put too many of them on these little decorative things, but I, I wanted something facing out to kind of balance with that one. And with that one over there, and then I think I'm gonna do two more on the actual like displays on the bottom. So let's set that up. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So home. Just us two. 